Hi guys, <coughs> welcome to my channel. Today uh, we will discuss on the engineering change management. Uh, so this is the in continuation with the uh, previous uh, top previous session. So I will give the if you did not go through that session, I will give the link uh, for that uh, video. And uh, please, if you did not subscribe my channel, please subscribe my my channel. Uh, so today we'll discuss uh, how to assign revision level to the metal master and uh, how to activate the object type in the change change number like how to create the change number and how to activate the object type uh, uh, for metal in the change number so uh, in met metal master generally in business they some business they are creating directly in the uh, sap some business they create the metal master in the legacy system legacy in the sense like some interface system like uh, 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 plm tool ya yeah, ges or gsi so such type of legacy system they, they are creating and those being initiated by the uh, engineering team so when like your uh, uh, new metal they introduce they introduce a new material first engineering team create the uh, uh, material in the in those tool so when they create so they can assign they can assign those uh, change number revision level in their legacy system also and that can come to the sap so that time basically they create only the basic data 1 and the basic data 2 so when it came to the uh, sap there it extended to the plant level so be, as per the business process they also uh, they can use the revision level they can use the uh, change number for the metal number so that whenever you do the some changes that will be record uh, with the uh, with that uh, change number okay so today we'll see how to assign the revision level to the metal master so there will be a, uh, suppose some existing material is there you want to assign to the uh, uh, assign to revision level you can assign if you want to uh, assign the revision level during creation of metal master that also we can do okay second uh, so then there are some transaction codes like uh, to create the change number cc01 is to create the change number that is the transaction code and cc02 to change the uh, if you want to change the modify the change number and cc03 to display the change number and cc11 like uh, if you want to assign the revision level to the existing metal you can use the transaction cc11 cc11 uh, and to assign if you want to modify or display that you can do through cc12 or cc13 okay so now let me go to sap so first let me create a change number so when you we create the change number there are like without release key with release key so if we create the change number with release key suppose if i create the change number with release key I'll give the date and here status. So in this case, if you look at metal is not metal is gray out. This week I am I will not able to activate the object type material with this in this change number. Okay. So here if I choose without release key, so with release key material object type is gray out in my system okay so there i can cannot uh, activate uh, uh, the material uh, in the change number so in this case if you have the sa same situation with you so in this case you need to raise to the sap so there is some standard node they can give some standard node so based on your system you can implement that node to activate that material with for to uh, for uh, release key you can activate the material for release key okay 
so for now i am creating this change number without release key so here i will give the description and date and this is status okay so if now if you look at this see this now this is activated okay so suppose i'll activate okay and record okay i'll save so now i am creating this change number only to change and do any changes in the material so i'm i'm not uh, activating any other thing so i'm just activating the material object okay so now i'll save it so if you look at now this change number created 19 okay now if i create the new material suppose i will give okay so this is the new material i am going to create So here, here I will not now. I will not uh, choose uh, uh, plant level views. I will choose only basic data one. Say once. Let me give the change number here. So our change number is nineteen. Okay. Now I will choose only basic data one and basic data two. So here I will give something some description. Okay. Base metal measurement and metal group. So now we assigned the change number, but we did not given the revision level. So if you want to give the revision level, see this is our change number. Now it is the revision level. Okay. So you can give choose your revision level here. And suppose now I selected the A. Okay. Continue. So now you see. In in revision level A is assigned to material FZ. So suppose in future you do some changes, you can with same change number you can uh, uh, change your revision of the material master revision level of metal master. Okay. So now if you look at revision level A is given here. Okay. Now here. So now I will save it. So F zero F G zero eight is created. Now if we want to extend the same material for plant level, we can extend. Suppose if I I want to extend to the any plant, I can extend it. So map I give the my plant, and here if load revision level A is coming. Okay, so this is plant. So I, if I give here some uh, purchasing group MRP type, okay, and uh, lot sizing procedure. Okay, so same similar thing, and uh, you can create um, as per your uh, requirement. We can extend the material your to your plant view. Okay, now I can save it. Okay, now it is created. So this is like when you create the new material, how to uh, assign the revision level and change number. Okay, now we'll talk about if you want have the existing material you want to assign to the, uh, uh, the revision revision level and change number. So how to do? So in that case, so here logistic. Central function and uh, engineering, engineering, and then it your uh, uh, engineering change management, and then revision level. So here, if you look at metal revision level, okay. So if this is the transaction CC eleven, CC eleven, okay. So let me take one uh, uh, existing material. So here, this is my existing material. I want to assign the change number and uh, revision level. So now, 
I will do one thing. I will create the new change number. I will not uh, use the same change number. I will create a new change. Even now I can use the same change number also. Suppose if you want to use, I can use the same change number. And here also you can give the revision level. Okay. So this revision level is part of the configuration. In in configuration you can. Uh, assign you can assign your change revision level what you want that revision level you can give okay so so uh, i gave this change number and revision level okay if i enter so if you will see revision level a assigned to the material okay now if i go and i'll save it okay so it is saved so if i go and check this material so here you see now revision level is assigned if i click this one here you can see revision level valid from from today it is valid okay so next time when you do changes you can give the new revision level or so that accordingly it will be updated and uh, it will be uh, shown here okay so this is the transaction uh, uh, we did that this transaction is the cc11 okay so the uh, metal we uh, uh, we assign the with the transaction cc11 so this is the process to to uh, uh, assign the revision level to uh, metal master and change number to the metal master okay now i'll show you like uh, where to assign the revision level in spro suppose you want to create more revision level or update more revision level So logistics general and engineering change management. Here is your revision level. You can define your revision level for your material. Okay. So you can give this some more entries as per your requirement. Okay. So this is all about how to create change number and what will happen uh, to the metal object if you create the change number with release key and without release key and how to assign the revision level to the metal master with exist to the existing metal and for new material okay hope you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel to get more and more videos